What's going on, YouTube? 60 day review on the inward facing cameras at JB Hunt. Give you a 60 day review on it. Tell you how I've been so far. Stay tuned. Be right back. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Scoob, man. Y'all got Scoob, man. Just got up this morning. <clears throat> man. Uh, uh, yesterday when I cut that first part, man, that was, uh, we was over in uh, Conway, Arkansas, delivering a load in Conway and everything. Uh, we delivered over in Conway. We did head back to Memphis. <clears throat> Spoke picked up a load out of Memphis going to uh, uh, West Monroe, but my brake light and everything came on on the tractor and uh, all about stop and call the shop and all uh, kind of junk went wrong, man. Uh, I just wrote it up this morning, <clears throat> put it in the shop, man. I having trouble out of this truck now, man. You know, my first truck I had, it was a used truck and boy, I caught heck with that truck. It was always in the shop. So now this is a newer truck and uh, they go to show you new trucks break down just like old trucks. But uh, <coughs> hold on a minute. We're here at the uh, yard, <clears throat> waiting on them to check it out. But let's let's get into it. Uh, what's my uh, uh, reviews and 60 days on the uh, inward facing camera, and uh, how do I feel about it? Uh, everybody might be different, but me, out of all my years of driving, uh, be straight and frank. I'm not gonna be around no bush. I hate it. I hate the inward facing camera, but I love the forward facing camera. The forward facing camera do just about the same thing that an inward facing camera would do. Uh, you just ain't looking inside the cab. Uh, my views on that is if they're going to use an inward facing camera, then it need to be activated when you have an accident. It need to be activated if you have a hard braking or if you're taking a curve too fast or you swerve, something like that. That's the only time that the inward facing camera should be activated. That's uh, that's my opinion on it. That's how I feel about it. And uh, everybody's entitled to their work, their own opinion. So that's uh, that's how uh, that's that's mine. Uh, next, uh, is it serving a good purpose? No, it's not. It's not what it's doing. Really, uh, they say it's not, but it's, it is. It is uh, uh, spying on the driver. That's what it's doing. Spying on the driver. All right, Doc. It is doing that. It's uh, spying on the driver. It's uh, telling them what a driver is doing and what a driver is not doing. Now, don't get me wrong. I admit that we do have drivers <clears throat> out here watching videos, uh, trying to do, mo trying to be multitasked multitask inside that cab. I do understand that we do have that and I'm not going to take that from them. But uh, uh, to watch a driver for 14 hours a day, to record a driver for 14 hours a day, that's just, uh, that's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. But hey, uh, once again, like I said, you deal with it or you move on. There are companies out here there are companies out here. They might not be paying like those companies that have the inward facing cameras, but uh, there are companies out here that uh, pays good and don't have the inward facing cameras in their truck. Uh, now, if you got a drive out here that's always hard braking and taking curves too fast and 
the biggest thing is think about it now if the if forward facing camera is working you can see a driver driving habits right then if they're tailgating the truck always tailgating the truck you can see that from the forward facing camera you don't need to be on the inside of the cab to see that hey this guy tailgating trucks that's all you need to see is what's going on in front of the cab that tells a driver habit because you can see if he's tailgating you can see if he's taking the curves too fast you can see all that you can see his reckless driving in and out of lanes you can see all of that uh but uh, i don't know man I don't know. I've heard that the cameras are being used to uh, go up against a driver. If an uh, accident do happen, fatality involved, the camera is being used in court to show that what the driver was doing, that he was uh, he was messing around in the truck and not doing what he's supposed to do. Uh, these trucks, they got all these bells and whistles on them. Man, that's enough to scare a new driver right there. That'll scare a new driver right there, all them bells and whistles. But... Um, it is what it is. Uh, oh, a subscriber hit me up last night. And he asked me about JB. Uh, JB Hunt is a great company. They're a great company. JB Hunt got their own rules. Um, they they want to run it like they want to run it. Like I said before, when you come over, you either deal with it or you move on. They said they weren't going to be micromanaging the uh, the cameras, but they to me, they are. Micromanagement to me is when you bring a person in for three seconds, five seconds, something like that. That's micromanagement. When you got somebody doing five or ten minutes on something, then I can understand. But three minutes, three seconds, five seconds, six seconds, that's, that to me would be micromanagement. But that's my opinion. That's my opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion. But to the young man that asked me, if you're interested, yeah, hey, give them a shot, man. They got they got city position, they got intermodal position, they got dedicated position, they got all kind of dedicated positions. Uh, from chicken feed, uh, uh, let's say uh, animal feed, all the way up to milk and tanker, and man, they flat bed, they got it all. But uh, uh, like I said, look them up, man, give them a, give them a shot. Uh, but I will tell you this, if you do go to work for them, they're gonna put you in a brand new freight line. They're gonna put you in a brand new freight line of Cascadia <clears throat> with the camera in it. Everybody that I've seen come through this intermodal, come to work here, have stepped into a brand new freight line. So they're putting you in the new trucks with the cameras, unless you're a city driver. If you're a city driver, they do a lot of uh, sharing trucks. They share trucks, so that's how they do that. They do a lot of share trucks over here and everything, so. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, Great company, uh, the benefits are great. Love the benefits, man, and everything. So I ain't no complaints on that, hands down. Time off, no complaints on that, but they are finna stop. They started, I think it was May the 1st, uh, May the 21st, I think. They implemented the uh, attendance policy. You know, go back and watch the video, I went over that. So uh, other than that, uh, that's it, you know. It is what it is, man. You either want to deal with it or you're going to have to move on. But uh, let me, like I said, don't don't think I'm complaining. I'm not. Uh, you know that old saying, I don't know if your grandmother told y'all, oh, can't teach an old dog new tricks? Well, I'm the old dog. I've been doing stuff my way, and that's what I tell them, you know, that, hey, you know, it's something, it's a learning process for me. I got to learn this. This camera in the truck looking at you, and you've got over five years experience, I'm gonna say five, uh, it's gonna be a learning experience. It's gonna be a learning experience. You're either gonna wanna deal with it or you, you're not. Simple as that. Uh, and it, but uh, like I said, other than that, uh, my opinion on it, there you have it. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. Uh, I hate the inward facing camera, not the out facing, the inward facing. I hate those with a passion. But it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Ooh, man. It is what it is. But uh, other than that, for the drivers that got bad habits. Hey, baby, what's going on? The driver with the uh, bad habits, I understand. I understand those that's got bad habits and they keep getting the uh, hard breaking and stuff like that. Uh, I can understand you turning their cameras on, but the ones that's out there doing their job, and everything 
like I said, you can see, you can tell a driver what type of driver you got in that truck by looking through the forward-facing camera. You can watch the forward-facing camera and tell what type of driver you got driving that truck. You ain't got to go inside the cab. You don't. You can look at the outside and see what type of driver you got driving that truck. But like I said, man, other than that, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But let me get off here, man, and uh, get my day started. Y'all have a blessing. Be safe. There you have it. Uh, six, six months, six day, 60 day review of the inward facing cameras. Your boy Scoob. Don't like them. Don't like them at all. But it is what it is. Y'all be careful today. Be safe. We'll come back this evening. Be careful. Be safe. Keep the good Lord rich in everything you do and say. And continue to keep Scooby doing my wife in your prayers. We'll do the same for each and every one of you all. We love you. We thank God for you. Watch out there, fella. Doing good. <laughs> a white Tiger, man. This White Tiger. He's a city driver. We was, uh, met at the field island and everything. White Tiger, man. Great guy. Great guy. But uh, like I said, and uh, he left, uh, I think he said UPS or FedEx and came over here. So, hey, I go to show you, man. Must be something going on. But uh, y'all be careful, be safe, keep the good Lord with you and everything you do and say. And continue to keep Scooby doing my wife in your prayers. We'll do the same for each and every one of you all. We love you. We thank God for you. All these loud muffler pipes. <laughs> and this is what Scooby Doo. We'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Well, I'll be back later on this evening. Scooby Doo.